Hi Leo, my ascendant brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So uh, this week for the key to the week we have the faith card in this deck which is actually the Hierophant card. So this is all about the rules, the regulations and the structures. This week Leo you may very well come up against some sort of authority. It may be that this week you are having to look at some sort of legislation, maybe you're looking at some sort of red tape, maybe you're looking at ways that you can get around something. That's definitely a possibility with this card but on the other hand this could see you becoming or being recognized as an authority. This could see you rising up the ranks this week. It could see you really kind of making a mark or leaving some sort of, uh, maybe not necessarily a legacy because it's only a weekly reading, right? But maybe this is the start of the legacy that you are building in order to leave behind. And this is a really powerful thing to see, right? Whenever you get the Hierophant card, consider that in some way, shape or form, life itself and maybe even society are initiating you to the next level to the next phase of who it is that you're going to be and how it is that you're going to show up in the world. For your actions and options, you have the justice card, right? So this week, there could be some sort of big offer or contract that comes up for you. It may come very suddenly, right? We're just off the back of a lunar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. This could be something that shows up really quickly for you, very suddenly. It could be, uh, maybe for some of you, this is some good news about a contract that you have been chasing or wanting to sign. Uh, remember, your justice card is all things legal. Your justice card is all things that are contractual. It sees, uh, you know, it's like a, a big card of commitments. And coupled with the Hierophant card, this is, you know, real big sort of legal institutions. So uh, it looks like whatever it is that's coming up for you this week, and this is what you're doing, right? So this is something, even with all the retrograde energy, this is about you taking a very big step forward and also making a big commitment. It's a very exciting week, very exciting indeed for your communications and conversations. You have the world card. Well, holy crap, right? So this is what I said to you just before. And this is an echo of that energy. The world card is always about the wider world stage. It's because this card is ruled by Saturn, this is how you show up in the world. This is what you have mastered, what you've put your time, your energy, your resources, your patience, your blood, sweat, and fucking tears into. And because this is your communications and conversations, this week somebody is reaching out to you for your expertise. This week you are, in some way, shape, or form, you are rising up the ranks, right? This is about you gaining some sort of popularity, being seen on the wider world stage. Maybe you're, maybe this week you get a big invite to some sort of event to speak about something. Maybe you are being recognized. Maybe there's some sort of, it's definitely possible as well with these three cards, that some sort of accolade could be coming your way, you know, where maybe you gain some sort of a title, maybe some sort of recognition, maybe somebody is putting you forward for something. It could just be something as simple as a nomination for, you you know, I don't know, whatever, the best A, B and C in your field. But there is definitely an air this week that you are communicating with big institutions, you're signing some sort of big contract, or certainly starting to look at that. Now, this is really, really exciting because it also suggests that the people that you are communicating with or the people that are approaching you with said offers, contracts, explanations, etc., are people that are movers and shakers. Um, this is a very powerful week. This whole month of June is very powerful for the Leos. So I'll be really intrigued to see how this shows up for you all, you know, in the comments section. Um, but yeah, very powerful, very potent indeed. Um, so your justice card is Libra. The world card is the planet Saturn, right? So what I find really intriguing about this more than anything else is Saturn is exalted in Libra, 
right? And then under the un, all of this is happening under the guise of of you know that very sort of Taurian slash Capricornian energy of the Hierophant card. You know, some sort of big initiation, some sort of big initial push forward. Now on the wider world stage as an interruption, as Tarot loves to do. Whenever you see the world card, there's something happening on the world stage as well. We're going to see some sort of law, legislation, or declaration made this week. There's gonna be something big that kind of goes out across the world and may very well be rolled out and you know could have a lot to do with the current situation that we're having um, over the, uh, the George Floyd situation and the, the Black Lives Matter movement. So this is gonna be a really interesting one to watch because I actually feel like this is gonna be something that is almost blanket rolled out. Um, so stay tuned and uh, if you see anything, please let me know in the comments what you what you see in regards to this. And then, oh wow. So for those of you that are single, um, you know, whether you're newly single, you know, whether you've been single for a while, it does look like there is a potential connection coming in this week. Now, what you need to know, the Hierophant is here, the world card is here and the justice card is here. This could be somebody that works in uniform. Uh, it could be somebody, it's very likely to be somebody that is older than you, somebody that's very wise, very mature, maybe even somebody that works in some sort of a position of power, uh, maybe somebody that works in some sort of, um, you know, just something of that nature. For those of you that are partnered, there is a solidification happening of your relationship. There is a closeness of your of your bond that comes in where you are recommitting to each other and redefining what your relationship is and what it you what and what it is that you want it to be for the future now when it comes to family uh oh crap yeah i'm because i've already put that there so we're going to pull a different card for money and materials um and i will go backward and it's the four of pentacles how apt um, very very interesting i totally glossed over the fact that i hadn't done this right so for money and materials finances look good this week they actually look very stable there's a stabilizing influence that's coming in over or to do with your finances now for a select few of you Whatever this big commitment is that you are uh, finding, uh, that finding that you're finding or signing or is being offered to you, it does look like it solidifies your finances. For a lot of you, this could be a very good week for a boost to the finances. Maybe you're saving when it comes to the money. This could be a week where you're really paying attention to your money and materials and your finances. Um, and the other thing is as well, <laughs> When it comes to your money, this week it looks like, for those of you that, now I'm not a financial advisor, I can't give you financial advice, but if you've got any investments, it looks like you're about to have some really good news about those, certainly for the long term. Um, that's, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting from it. The other thing is as well, uh, when it comes to money and materials, I would say that this week is not a great week for big spending or purchases. Uh, even with this thing that's coming in, it looks like it's more of something that's coming to you as opposed to something that you're spending out on. However, if it is something that is going to further your uh, your career, your aims, your goals, etc., um, and it's something in line with what you're already doing, then yeah, go ahead. But if it's something completely brand new, just you might want to do a bit more consideration. Uh, for your materials, so home life looks good. For some of you, it looks like there's a change of residence coming up this week. Uh, it may not necessarily be that specifically you're moving this week, but it does look like the move or the talks of a move are coming up this week for you. And then for your uh, physical health, this is a week to really pay attention to your liver and your kidneys. Again, I'm not a medical advice, uh, a medical uh, professional, so I can't give you medical advice, but. Uh, if you have uh, health issues, health underlying issues or um, susceptibilities, your four of pentacles, especially underneath the justice card, that is your kidneys. Um, and also the four of uh, pentacles itself is your liver. So just make sure that you're doing everything that you can to flush those out, to look after them in the best way that you can. It looks like a really fantastic week for the Leos, actually. I'm really intrigued to see how this one goes.
uh, let me know in the comments. Um, actually, we're just, at the time that this is being filmed, I'm just about to release a big project. So it will be interesting to see on the next week how it goes and what the results were from it. So I'm intrigued. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.